What I'm going to show you next is our RDL balance series. Now, keep in mind, I called it a balance series. I'm not going to be doing these RDLs with a weight where I'm intending to get a strength training effect. I'm going to probably get a little bit of that, but that's not my goal. My goal is to challenge my balance with all of my weight on one leg in all three planes of motion. And the weight just enhances how I can do that. So job number one, have enough balance on one leg that you can do something more than just this. Then, assuming that's you, when we go to do our RDL, the thing to remember, these are a top-down exercise, and it's very important that my trailing leg go up first before my face comes forward. If my face comes forward first, now I've got this rounded back position, that's not strong and resilient. If I let my trailing leg go back first, then my body is going to be a relatively straight line. If I show you from the side, if you look from my right ankle to my right ear, that is a relatively straight line. That's what we're looking for, okay? So I'm going to be standing on my left leg, weight on the opposite side, which is right. Trailing leg goes first, and I can go down, pause, and come back. That's an RDL. With the weight in the opposite hand, this is one plane of motion. When I'm at this point, that's another one. And as they come through here, as it's trying to twist me, that's my third. So this is a three-dimensional exercise. That's the easiest version of it. Let's challenge it a little bit more. We're going to start the same. We're going to get to this position. And now we're going to add complexity by the weight going up and down. So therefore, the center of gravity of my body with the weight goes up and down. And my brain has to figure out how to hold me up against that. The next thing we're going to do is challenge it side to side. So. Same thing, my lead leg goes up before my face comes forward. And now I just change hands with the kettlebell. We refer to this as a pendulum. I don't go far, so it's not way out over here. Ah, see, lost my balance. It's just back and forth in a range of motion that's okay. The speed is what feels right to you. You can kind of play catch with it if you want to add to it a little bit. Really not necessary, but you can. So that's the pendulum. The last thing we'll do is circle the ankle. So if I'm here and my trailing leg goes back, now what I do is I make circles around my ankle. And of course, it will be different going clockwise as well as counterclockwise. And that is a substantial challenge. I did it pretty well for you that time, but this is my second take. So keep in mind, those are challenging if you're repeatedly losing your balance. You're not training anything. So make it slower, do an easier version, or get a smaller weight, or any combination of those things. But we always want to be challenged and successful, not challenged and fail by touching down, touching down, touching down. So if you were in school, I'd want you to always be somewhere around A minus B plus. What that means is you're challenged, but you're not overwhelmed, and you're good, but you're not perfect. If we keep you training in that sweet spot, we are going to get the greatest amount of adaptation of motor learning. Remember, we're not doing this trying to make your muscles bigger. We're trying to make the, the relationship between the control center and the muscles head to toe work better in all three planes of motion. That's motor control. There you go.